Can you feel fuller on fewer calories? A new diet regime is claiming to do just that. It's called the Volumetrics Diet. It tells you to eat low-calorie, nutrient-dense foods. Some have called it the most popular diet of 2022. But is it for everyone? Let's find out. You eat less and feel fuller. Sounds like a utopian fantasy, right? Well, a new diet or eating method is telling you to do just that. Eat less and yet feel fuller. This is what the Volumetrics Diet advocates. The food plan was introduced by Dr. Barbara Rolls in her book, Volumetrics Feel Full on Fewer Calories. In this diet, you're advised to consume around 1400 calories a day. Many would argue that that's too less. And try and exercise for at least 30 minutes daily. In this eating plan, food is divided into four groups on the basis of calorie density. Category 1 would have low density foods like non-starchy fruit and vegetables. Category 2 would have starchy fruit and veggies along with some grains and low fat meat. And Category 3 has all those medium density food items which we love and crave. Cheese, pizza, french fries, ice cream, cake, you get the gist. And Category 4 would comprise high density options like chips, chocolate, candy and more. Basically all those items which are perceived as forbidden foods or cheat meals. So if you follow the Volumetrics diet, you'll have to stick to categories 1 and 2, while categories 3 and 4 can only be consumed in limited quantities. Let's simplify it for you. The diet tells you to enjoy veggies like lettuce, cabbage, cauliflower and broccoli. Lean meat and low-fat dairy is also allowed, and fruits like watermelon, berries, oranges and lemons are great for snacking. They are high in water content, so they'll keep you fuller longer and are also high in nutrients such as iron, calcium and zinc. But if you want to save on the extra calories, you're advised to avoid nuts and seeds, oils and highly processed foods or consume them in moderation. Simply put, the diet aids weight loss by putting you in a calorie deficit where you consume lesser calories than you burn. So is the Volumetrics diet for everyone? Not really. Like most diets, it has its pros and cons. While it does not eliminate food groups altogether like Atkins or Keto, it may restrict you from eating certain foods, which could then lead to eating disorders. This is what experts say. Since there is no structured approach to eating, the diet may not impress those who are creatures of habit and like to plan their meals in advance. The Volumetrics diet on one hand promotes eating nutrient-rich foods and on the other limits nutrient-rich fats. So if you're planning to try out this diet, weigh the pros and cons and always consult a doctor first. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.